In vivo fiber photometry is a class of optical recording methods that use optical fibers to deliver excitation light and to collect fluorescence emission photons. It has become a very popular tool for measuring the cellular and molecular events in genetically defined groups of cells in behaving animals. In this study, we designed a spectrometer-based fiber photometry system and used it for simultaneous measurements of neural activity from striatal direct and indirect pathway neurons in freely moving mice. A unique feature of this new fiber photometry system is that it can capture high-resolution emission spectrum from multiple fluorescent sensors or proteins. This feature is crucial for fluorescence signal identification and for accurate and mixing of multiple fluorescence signals with overlapped spectra. Without proper spectra and mixing, the fluorescence bleed through may introduce an artifact that contaminates the recorded signals. This artifact can be effectively corrected by applying a linear and mixing algorithm and using the coefficient of each fluorophore to represent the fluorescent intensity. Another feature of the system is the high versatility. By choosing proper light source and the fluorescent filter size, the same system can be used to measure different fluorophores of interest. All the parts used in the system are commercially available. The system can be assembled by a person with the base knowledge of the opticals. The fiber photometry system consists of three major components, an excitation light source, a fluorescence cube with interchangeable filters, and a high-performance spectrometer. To simultaneously record neural activity in striatal direct and indirect pathway neurons, we differentially X-Prize GCAM6F and grgecko one a in these two populations of neurons. By co-injecting the crayon and crayon of vector vectors in dorsal striatum of D1 curry or A to A curry mice, immunostainings showed clear separation of these two sensors and their absence in cholinergic interneurons. By synchronizing the data equations between the spectrometer and the behavior video camera, we were able to record and analyze the behavior related GCAM 6F and JRGECO 1A fluorescence change in free moving mice. The system can be easily upgraded to a dual spectrometer system that allows simultaneous dual sight, dual color measurements. Using the dual spectrometer system, we found that the neural activity is highly synchronized between the two striatal pathways within each hemisphere, but desynchronized between the two hemispheres. Furthermore, we found that the magnitude of activation of each pathway collaboratively determines the movement patterns. Strong activation of direct pathway combined with weak activation of indirect pathway leads to a start-and-go type of controversive movement. In contrast, weak activation of direct pathway paired with strong activation of indirect pathway leads to start-and-stop type of movement. This observation holds true regardless of which sensor is expressed in which pathway. In conclusion, we have developed a novel spectrometer-based fiber photometry system for simultaneous multicolor fluorescence measurements. Using this method, we show for the first time that the neural activities of two parallel striatal projection pathways are highly synchronized, and that the magnitude of activation in these two pathways collaboratively determines the dynamics and phase of movement.